Okay, so next up is to show an example of wiring the pedal. So what we're going to be doing is placing wires using this pedal here as an example. So remember two screws, bottom and top, currents coming from the bottom, out through the switch, and out through the top. So basically what we're going to be doing <clears throat> is using our wire stripper. So taking some wire off of the um, or cutting the wire off of one that we've already done, right? Or one that you're just starting for that matter. I don't really know what stage you guys are at. So just go ahead and just use your wire cutter to make a cut. And then you're going to use the stripping section of the wire cutter to go ahead and strip off some of the wire. that away so now we're just left with a bare um, end of our insulated wire right hope you can see that then we're going to take a flat washer I'm not sure if there's another kind of washer but this is a flat washer <laughs> and we will insert that onto the screw so I mean onto the wire so we're just left with um, the washer on the wire and then you're going to wrap the um, wire in and out of the washer like so and if it's difficult or you just need more tension you can use some pliers to do that and then just wrap it carefully around the end so what we're left with is um, a washer attached to a wire right now you could solder this but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm too tired and I really don't care as long as it works right now. I can do that later on. So you insert it onto the bottom screw, right? <laughs> okay, so is it on the bottom screw? <laughs> um, yeah, so then you're going to take another washer. I mean, not another washer yet. We need wire. Wire here. So some wire. And then you'll take this, uh, another end off of the wire, about a fourth of an inch or so. <laughs> and then you're going to input this wire on through the screw we just did. I'll get it myself. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this, but this is what I came up with. So you just thread that through that washer. Then you're going to um, just make sure that lies flat. Just wrap it around the bottom screw in there, right? Next step is to get some wing nuts or butterfly nuts, whatever they're called. Wing nuts, they're called wing nuts. They look like this. Or Mickey Mouse, like Mickey Mouse nuts. That's what they are. Whatever they are, wing nuts. If you go to the store, they're called wing nuts. So then just attach that onto the bottom screw to hold it all in place. Just be very gentle with it. Just go to finger tight, just like light tightness. I don't know if that's the correct term, but just to where it just stops. Otherwise, you can wrap it and it will start turning the screw. Even though you have that bottom bolt in there, it will start turning the screw and you can turn your reed switch and crack it, which we don't want to do. So, so that would be very aggravating. So just finger tight there, it will hold. And then reed strip, read um, wire stripper again, and then take your cord that you just bundled together um, and you locate the one that you are doing. So I I'm doing number 23. So if we locate number 23, 18, just make sure you label these, otherwise you won't know what you're doing. So you're just going to take about, a little bit more, about four, one and a fourth and one and a half inch of wire off. Take another washer, so that onto the wire, same fashion, just wrap it around. Um, and the reason I make this a little bit longer because this one could get pulled on and I want to make sure that it will hold in place. Um, 
So, I don't really have anything. Oh, come on. This is turning into a very labor intensive project that I did not think would be this labor intensive. Anyway, so now we have our output to, this is going, remember, this is going out to our computer. So, We'll attach this to the top screw here. Just put it on top. Put it on top. Usually they just sit on top of there, but this one is being difficult. So it's good I'm using this so we can troubleshoot together. There we go. All right, so then you just grab another wing wing nut here. Just tighten this one just slightly. Okay, should be tight enough. So now we're going to test it. So for each one, you need to test. That's why you need the multimeter. Otherwise, you'll put the whole thing together and nothing will work. So for this, use our multimeter. Now remember, we attached our multimeter to the power end. So that's already supplying current through this whole thing already. So now we'll just grab our output end, the other side of it, with the bare end wire here. So we'll just locate number um, 24 or 23 um, and the other end of the multimeter let's grab that one okay so we have a bare end wire here it's attached and if all goes well we won't hear a sound good there's no sound that's a very good thing and if there is sound, that just means you just may need to make a minor adjustment in your position because you may have bumped it or something like that. So now when I pull the pedal down, we should hear a sound. Oh, wrong one. Hmm, wrong pedal. I was about to panic. There it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, <laughs> uh, it works. Okay. So now we have to do every single pedal. That's 32 of these, and it takes a while. So I recommend, if you have an iPad or a laptop, put in a movie <laughs> and get some background noise going. Otherwise, you'll lose your mind. At least I will. I, I'm losing it. That's why I'm currently watching some documentary on Netflix right now. So have at it. So once we've finished wiring, so you're going to need a power. So at, the, at either end of the power segment bottom row of your um, of your pedal board you're going to need two more wires so one is the power which i already showed you how to do right so power is connected to the last one on one end and then you're going to need another one that's going to be called the ground wire so this is very important the ground wire is going to be uh, there you go. So this is the end, the other end of the pedal board. So remember, this is the bottom end of the current. Current's coming through the bottom, and then we're gonna have a ground wire right here. So you you'll need another one just like you did on the power side on that side. And um, so it should come together for you. Um, hopefully, I haven't connected to the computer yet, but that is. The next step, we'll test it out on that once we get everything wired up. So good luck with that.